Hello, welcome to the Excited Education channel, the YouTube channel which brings you about mathematics and biology. Now we are going to discuss about mathematics where we discuss about limits and continuity for the multivariable function. So again, it is on Excited Education channel. I wish you have subscribed or make subscribe, share, then comments, then like for our video. Then if you wish it goes far, far, far from you and the abroad at the worldwide and say and then comments for any question you have about the video then we will explain you more so this is the um, limits and the continuity for multivariable function here we are going this is part of the analysis so and it is a curriculum also again in this curriculum, we're going to discuss about this question, as you see here, stated on the paper. We have sh to show that the limit of x, y, 0, 0 to x power 3 plus y power 3 does not exist. This is over x, y squared. Then, after, you have to determine whether f of x, y as a function uh, with which is equal to x, y over x squared plus y in a general square root. For if x is x, y is not equal to 0, 0, and if x, y is equal to 0, 0. And you have to know if is continuous at 0, 0 and justify your answer. So this is our question that we are going to discuss on. And this point called the limits and continuity for the multivariable function. So, thank you. I think you have noted this. Uh, let me give you one minute to write this and to memorize this or to understand this clearly. Then we go together. So, so I think you have noted this question. Then let, let us go through with this. So, we have the uh, we have to show that if the limit of x, y, which with respect to 0, 0, 2x, 2x power 3 plus y power 3 over x, y squared, which if, if this doesn't exist, then let us start from the point A, and we have limit of x, y, with respect to 0, 0, 2x power 3 minus y power 3 over x, y, then squared, here, we have this function and you have to show that if this limit does not exist so the way we are going to show that this is not exist we have to let y let us write let y be equal to mx yes then after writing this y to be equal to mx, then we replace this value in the term where y is located. Then we will be equal to limit of x, y, 0, 0, to x power 3 minus, this is y. Then y, you know that it is equal to mx, then power 3, divide by x, then times mx, then power 3. After replacing this value, y which is equal to mx into its term then we have remit of x approaches to zero and the reason why we write mx to be y this is because that we want to differentiate or to limit to limit to make a limit according to x or to one variable and this is 2x and you have on here mx you know that this function is only for part of x as unknown. This is the coefficients of x, not unknown. And here you know that we have y and x. You can't work out two terms together or two unknown terms together. That's why we write to y, which is equal to mx. Yes. So here this will be equal to with respect to x, x which is equal to zero. This will be equal to x power three. Then we make factorization and then we two minus m. Yes, power three. And then here. This is x power 3, and here it is x power 3, as you see. Uh, but sorry, here it is z power 2. Yes. And here, divide by m 
x then power 3. We get this x and replaced by this m x. Then we get this is m squared. Then we get x x squared. So x power 3. So then we you might write this. Yeah. After getting this, we are going to simplify where this x power 3 goes with this x power 3. Yes. I think we are together. Then we remain with the limit of x approaches to 0 of 2 plus m. Yes, this is plus, not minus. And this is also plus, not minus. It is a mistake that I did here. Also, it is plus here, by the way. Sorry. So, 2 plus m, then power 3, divide by m squared. So, here, simply means if we, we get this this limit, we know that it is x approaches to 0. And then remaining with the, the 2 plus m power 3 over m. This is our, our coefficients. Simply means this does not exist in the limit. Doesn't exist in limits. So this is the first point, by the way. It is over. We have to show that this is not exist. And we know that we work out and then we find that this is like to be a last, last step. And we find that if we have the x approaches to 0, this does not exist. I think this is number A. So let us go to number B. Number B, we have to determine whether f of x, y, which is equal to x, y, divided by x squared plus y squared in the general square root. For if x, y is not equal to 0, 0, and x, y, is equal to zero zero. Here we will work out this limit of x y with respect to zero zero. If it is equal to zero zero, then x y divided by x squared plus y squared. I think you are together. Yes, in general square root. Then x, we have to know that x squared plus y squared, square root, to b, we have to put it in a polar form, or in a polar coordinate. After take this into polar coordinate, we will find that limit of r approaches to theta, you know that this in polar coordinate will be equal to r cosine of theta then times r sine of theta so this is y times x this is sine this is cosine Yo, no this is cosine and this is sine as usual in the polar coordinates back to the complex number so here divide by r cosine theta squared then plus r sine theta then squared so here letter in general square square root for the denominator so i think you know that this is equal to y is is equal to r sine sine theta and x is equal to r cosine theta in the form i think you remember this then after we replace there we have value of x and y is then this will be equal to r squared cosine theta sine theta then divide by r cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta i think you are understanding i uh, and 
this is in square root this is r squared yes this is in square root after this this will be equal to also r squared cosine theta sine theta divided by r square root of r, r square root of r squared is r then square root of this one and you know that cosine squared plus theta plus sine squared theta it is equal to one then square root of one i think you have understood this is in trigonometric rules this is equal to is equal to one as usual so here remit this is remit r with respect to theta so limit of r approaches to zero then here we have r squared cosine theta sine theta then divide by r then this r goes with this then remaining only one r then limit of r approaches to zero r cosine theta then sine theta so i think this will be equal to zero yeah since since the limit exists so if this one i think zero is exist yeah then if this this limit is exist therefore it is also continuous at zero zero i think this is our final answer we have the question which is to determine whether this exists for if x y is not equal to zero or if x is equal to zero and we find at and it is continuous to zero zero and you have to justify our answer I think you have justified our answer. So this is the question about the limits and continuity for the multiple multivariable functions. As you see, we starting from this question as it is stated. Then after, then you work out by starting from Roman 1. And Roman 1, you work out this, find that this does not exist due to the reason we have seen and then you work out this uh, transported transport it into the polar form then you work out this polar form and after finding the polar form of this one we find that this solution will be equal to zero then after b equal to zero we find that since the function or since the limit is existing and therefore it is also continuous at the point where we are going or where you have tried to work out on this is the interval rule zero zero so thank you very much this is this is our end of the video and this is what we have to talk about and remember so i'm encouraging you first also if you don't subscribe to remember to make subscribe after comment share and like so such that we can go far with me and this is excited the education channel as usual it is in the name of our channel and i'm teacher amy chris and goodbye god bless you